Yeah. And once the media gets involved in it, like, for example, when I interviewed Don Dirk, we talked about the Yummy Sandifer situation. You know about that? The what? The Yummy Sandifer situation. Oh, yeah, uh, I know situation. about this, that situation. I heard about that. Yeah, it was 11-year-old that, you know, he, he was a BD. He was sent to go shoot someone. He ended up shooting Kid. Uh, the daughter of, of, a lead, of, an, of another gang leader. And then his own people executed him at 11 years old. And, like, if you look at these old Tupac interviews, he has a picture of, of Yummy behind him. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it was like, ultimately, and, and this, is, this is what me and Don Dirk talked about, these gangs in Chicago were relatively low-key. You know what I mean? They weren't in the news. They're they're fairly below the radar. But then when that happened, that was on the cover of Time magazine. They showed this little boy's mugshot and said, this is this is what happens in Chicago. 11-year-old boy who's executed by his own people. And then suddenly there's all this like attention and, and all the police presence and everything else like that. And, you know, I mean, to this day is a tragedy. And, you know, when I talked to Don, he was like, yo, man, there was a lot of yummy Santa Fers, 11 years old, who just got involved in this, were bad kids that no one ever really took the time to really show them. I mean, he was in and out of foster homes and, and everything. That's the problem. Yummy ain't the only one had a bad background. A lot of young um, blacks went through things worse than Yummy. When we was young, we was out there stealing, robbing. We were young, nine years old, 10, robbing, shooting guns. We were doing a whole lot of things, running away from home, stealing out our houses, you know, taking food, feeding our friends, and they found we did a lot of things. And that's the problem. You got um you got older people that's my age right now, or even even older, letting these young niggas do this shit. They cool with it. They glorifying these shorties, they making these shorties feel like they Superman around this bitch. You go over there and shoot 10 people, he come back, he congratulating them and shit. You feel me? And he only 11, 12. You got him doing this, like, you, instead of you letting him, instead of you congratulating him for doing some shit like that, how about you tell him the right shit after he do that? Tell him, like, you should, you don't want to do this shit, you feel me? That's what I did with Lil Mo. Well, I don't know if you know Lil Mo, bro. He from my hood. You need to look up on him and really um interview him next too. Okay. He hard, bro. Like he 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 the, he young, he on the rise, he doing millions of views, you feel me? But he reminded me of Yummy. You feel me? I said that in one of my songs. One of that song, that song gonna be on my album too. But he um he was just out there, you feel me? And at a young age, 11, 12, you feel me? And I and I, pro- I ain't that type of big homie that's going to make you just do dumb shit and be happy about that shit. No, nah, I was on his ass the whole time. I'm like, no, nah, nigga, you ain't doing this shit. You don't need to be doing this shit, bro. This is not the route you need to go, bro. Like, because I lost my little brother out there in the streets. Watched him do the same shit Shorty was doing. You feel me? And I watched niggas manipulate his mind and watch niggas make him feel like he was a, a super fucking gangster out there just because he was going to go, you know, go do what he do. But that ain't gangster, bro. Gangster is when you um helping motherfuckers and, and, and leading them the right way and taking care of your family and paying your bills. And you know what I'm saying? That's gangster, bro. Yeah, man, it's sad. It's sad because at 11 years old, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. 11, you're not even a teenager. You really just don't know what you're doing. And and if an older dude comes in and gives you a direction, especially if you don't have a strong family at home, if you don't have a father, especially if you're a little boy, if you don't have a father in the house, nah, he, he, he has, you're he going to find, you're gonna find that father somewhere else. He, yeah, and that's what it be like. You know what I'm saying? It's just like these young niggas go through that shit. And that's what it mainly is. It ain't even these older niggas. These old niggas out here scared as hell, man. These old niggas ain't doing shit. They be scared as hell. Don't even want to hold the gun on the block. Got the got the 12, 13 year old that's holding the guns and shit. Sending them off and shit. Why you think more people die now? Because there's more young niggas doing this shit. These young niggas don't care. They don't really know what they doing. It's I feel like it's more scarier to see a a young nigga run up on you with a gun than a than a 30 year old, than a 25 year old. That's yeah. most scarier, bro, seeing that type of shit, like, for real.